I'm sorry. It's okay. Just, it's fine. Just take a deep breath, man, okay? Did he have a weapon with him? Yeah, he had a gun. Okay. Uh, dispatch, roll the ambulance to uh, there in front of Atlanta Bridge. Two officers down. We do have ambulance en route to you. Entry wound to the back of the head. The exit wound is in the front. We're doing test the questions at this time. December the 23rd of 2013 is one of the, I guess, is the day that changed my, my life forever. It's a blessing to, to still be here. It wasn't my time to go. The good Lord had other plans for me, and for that I'm very thankful, you know. I think evil tried to prevail that day, you know. He, evil tried to take me away from my family, but God stood up and showed out and said no. At the time of the incident, uh, I was at Tupelo Police Department. Uh, my rank was Patrol Officer 3, and I was assigned to Adam Schiff as a field training officer and uh, DUI, which is the driving under the influence. I was the, I served as, as our officer there on shift. That day, as, I, as you'll see, it, it, it was a little different. Shortly after lunch, we received a call. A uh, mass gunman had entered the uh, Bank Court South Bank on South Gloucester. Uh, it was attempting to uh, to rob it. And so myself and several other officers uh, responded immediately. And of course, while we were en route, we're told of the suspect vehicle and what he looked like. Unbeknownst to us, the, the information that, uh, that we were relayed was incorrect. The actual suspect was actually behind uh, Sergeant Stauffer and I and once I exited my vehicle and started advancing on the suspect vehicle that we thought was correct, the su actual suspect got out of his vehicle behind us and, beginning, and began firing upon us. He, uh, he shot me first. Um, it entered uh, the bottom, bottom right portion, I guess, of my, uh, of my head or my skull in the back. It entered here, right about the retriever artery and exited here. So it's a blessing to, to still be here. Once things started to come together and I guess making sense to me because I didn't remember anything, that's kind of when the the, uh, the recovery process kind of all started and unfortunately uh, Sergeant Stauffer uh, that was with me, he and the suspect uh, engaged one another and at the same time trying to protect you know, innocent civilians that are from the line of gunfire. There, there again, and you know, in lies the the honor and duty and respect behind the badge. However, uh, he did he did not make it uh, from his from his injuries, and and unfortunately, he left he left behind a, a wife and two kids. Uh, the other aspect of, of the dark side was thinking about my career. Well, is it done? Is it not? Thankfully, it, it wouldn't. I had several, I guess, veteran officers pushing me there saying, you know, hey, Mar, you're, you're fully vested, man. You need to, you've done your due. Go home, take your, take your medical retirement, go home, do whatever you wanted to do. And I still get that to this day. Why don't you, or why didn't you? You know, I stayed right where I was at, continued, continued on the road of recovery, looking for a way to, to get back in the fight. And I was hired by the Pontotoc County Sheriff's Department. And my first day in service, I began serving there as a school resource officer there at South Pontotoc. And when well, the sheriff asked me when he hired me, hey, Joe, would you ever be interested in handling a dog? And 
and having it down at the school to, you know, as an extra tool to make it safe. I said, yes, sir. This August will be three years of uh, full in-service that I've had a uh, canine partner. Uh, so I'm thankful to have her. Daisy is, uh, she's a good dog uh, and a good partner. That's how that girl, yeah. yeah. That's how that girl, yeah. That girl, yeah. I still have bad days, but you know, I'm thankful to have her. You can kind of get me through some of those dark days and having her there with me, it helps me a lot and it goes a long way, you know. And it, and it makes good rapport with the kids and with the staff, you know, because, you know, just the mere presence of her, hey, if a kid's thinking of doing something stupid, having her there, if that helps, then I think she serves her purpose. Looking forward to, you know, my service and career and being in and out the doors, you know. Little did I know, just a couple of months later, I'd be back out in the spring woods chasing turkeys. Everybody that knows me, that's been around me my whole life, and even recently, it doesn't take being around me long enough to know that turkey hunting is my passion. And, you know, the Lord took care of me. Uh, it's got my family where we need to be. You know, and as I've said, got a family of my own now. My wife, Lindsay, my oldest daughter, Ella, and youngest, Ada. Now it's, it's come full circle to me, and now I'm able to pass it along to them. And my oldest, Ella, she is, uh, she's gotten big into the, into the turkey hunting world with me. You know, she was able to har harvest her first long beer two years ago, and she's actually got on the calling contest scene with me, and, <laughs> and she is accumulating quite a, uh, quite a stack of trophies. And, I got a call uh, to go to the NWTF convention in Nashville, made some uh, contacts with Mossy Oak. They reached out to me, wanted to uh, thank me for my service, and found out that all I lacked for having my uh, U.S. slam was an Osceola. Now I'm sitting in a Palmetto flat in the prime of South Florida turkey hunting Osceola's. Brandon's story, story hunts. 
Hopefully things uh, go our way and go to Lord and shine on us this morning. We can get him talking. the big dome in the back, I think. Yeah, here comes the big dome that's out on the left. Being able to sit there and for a minute, you know, being able to uh, reminisce and look back on everything that's happened, you know, 10 years ago was when that happened. And being here and being able to go out and putting my hands on him and just and just seeing the beauty that, that, that God created in these Osceola turkeys, it was just a... It's just a surreal moment being able, you know, in this in this habitat and in this, you know, in, in all the beauty that's down here, and just the, and thankful for the for the opportunity that I was given um, to serve, and all that, you know, the the respectful side of things and, and the honor the honor behind the badge all had came back into play uh, today and, and this morning. Uh, when I was able to you know, put my hands on him and, and just be thankful for the for the moment, for the opportunity, for the harvest, and, and w where I was at uh, this morning and where I'm at in life now. Officer Joe Marr, everyone here at Mossy Oak extends their most heartfelt thank you for your service. We are honored to know you.